Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Dive Magazine, and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. So if you do have any cues, um, let me know down in the comment section underneath this video, and use this Ask Mark hashtag in your comment or query. Uh, at the beginning and the end, it doesn't really matter, uh, and I will answer it as soon as I can. I type out an answer so you get an answer as soon as possible, uh, and the community likes to respond as well, so well done everyone for that. Uh, and if it's a really interesting question, I'll turn it into a video like this one. Uh, today, I'm answering a question from the great niece, I think, um, about spools and having your DSMB permanently attached. So the great nurse says, uh, Hi Mark, on the subject of DSMB and spool, precisely on pre-assembly ready to deploy DSMB, how do you safely secure the spool since the line is pre-assembled to the DSMB and can't be threaded through the hole? Um, so personally, I leave mine separate and then attach it in the water uh, for this reason, but also it allows me to use my spool for other things. Um, but if you want to leave your DSMB attached to your spool, but still secure it to a D-ring during a dive, um, I would create a bite um, in the line and then pop that through the hole in the uh, in the spool and then clip that uh, the double end onto that. Uh, the main problem comes in um, basically an, a really easy way to uh, to do it. Let me do it properly so you can see. Um, so what they're saying is I'd like to leave my DSMB attached onto my spool comsa, uh, but then to um, to actually secure it, you'd have to like clip onto. The, the side of the uh, the spool, which is quite dangerous because especially in a pocket or when like doing things underwater, uh, without warning, it can undo itself. So, um, and you're gonna lose stuff. Um, so what I do is I will separate the, uh, the parts and I poke the line through the side of the spool and then clip a double ender onto that and lock it. That way there's minimal chance of that undoing itself accidentally. Um, even if it does like once, it's still attached. Uh, so there's less chance of me losing things. If I also have uh, I adjust the uh, the leader, which is like the main loop of the spool. Uh, I, I leave this um, little tab a, a bit further down as opposed to right on the tip. I'll make my own little um, like knot to grab it with, um, with gloved hands. But to be able to deploy it, you've got a tab to be able to pull on that. And um, then you still have your leader to attach it onto it. If you're leaving it attached, uh, do be a little bit wary of this because knots uh, do increase the um, uh, the wear of that uh, that section of line, so it's likely to um, to damage and fail eventually. Just be aware of that. But if I was leaving it attached like that, uh, when I say a bite, a bite is basically just a, a loop of line. Uh, I'd create some kind of bite. It's probably going to be a paint. Per, I'd spend a bit more time fiddling with this, but I'd create a bite and then pass that through and then attach my double ender and ugh, if I've got enough space, uh, kind of lock it off. I'd probably do something like that. So it's it's similar to what I already know. Um, you're, you're not attaching the double ender directly onto the uh, the side of the spool. So that's probably how I would do it. Um, I'd spend a bit more time, so this is less of a mess. Um, or maybe just do it on one um, section of that, um, uh, of that bite. I suppose it does create a bit of a, an extra uh, loop to snag on something. Um, but that's where my mind goes to, um, to just create a, a bite, just a loop of, um, of that line. And um, I'm gonna put it easier if there's just a single piece, uh, just create a loop past that 
through the um, other side of the spool and then clip onto that and, uh, and then lock it off so it's a bit more secure. Um, that way your DSMB can be permanently attached to your spool um, and you can still attach it to a D-ring in the safest way possible. Um, I mean, uh, you can get some DSMBs nowadays. Uh, there's the Mares All-in-One, I think it's called, which um, has a little pouch built into it that has uh, that you can fit your uh, your spool into attached onto the uh, the DSMB, so that's quite secure. And then you can clip that off onto something. Uh, I, plenty of divers use a bit of bungee to uh, to secure things in place. Uh, I'm sure that's perfectly fine. Um, personally, that's probably how I would do it. But th there are lots of different ways to uh, to do things while scuba diving. Uh, the best the best thing about scuba diving is finding something that works for you in the safest way possible. Um, but yeah, that's where my mind goes, mainly because that's very similar to how I was taught and how I um, do it myself. But um, yeah, don't know. Um, that's crowd resource. Um, if there's any other uh, options, by all means, uh, if, if anyone else has any um, sort of cunning ideas on how to permanently attach your um, uh, your DSMB onto your finger spool and then clip it off securely onto a D-ring uh, without uh, sort of worrying about that uh, that D-ring slipping, uh, by all means, let us know down in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, now, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, if you have any ideas, by all means, put them down in the comment section underneath this video, along with any other questions. If you've got any scuba diving related questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Use this Ask Mark hashtag and it gets featured in an up and coming video. Uh, again, I do type out an answer and the community does as well. Uh, so you do get an answer sooner rather than later. Head over to our website, scubadivermag.com, check out the latest scuba diving news. Subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.